So with all the emulators available on iPad and iPhone like RetroArch and PPSSPP, I was hoping that UTM might come to iPad, at least without jailbreak. Uh, and I had a look on the App Store and I found this, UTM Remote, it's from the same people. The unfortunate thing about it is that it needs a MacBook uh, running UTM to work. So you can see here, this is what's set up on my MacBook. There's no operating system running apart from macOS on my MacBook at the moment, but if I click on play, it will launch Debian. So you can see it launches in the normal way. So this works a whole lot better with a mouse and keyboard. So let's plug one in. I've got a dongle there. Keyboard and mouse. I can log in in the normal way. This is KDE Plasma, so running over my network and you can see I can launch the browser, I can go to files. I can at least do some of my management, but it is a bit laggy, so if we drag things around, it's not as good as remote desktop, which is a bit disappointing really. Uh, you would get definitely better performance running a Raspberry Pi through remote desktop. But if I shut this down in the normal way, and we can quit out of that. And let's show how it runs on a Mac. I've got a separate video of it running on a Mac. So we can click on Debian to launch that and go full screen. And obviously, because this is running not over a network, but running native on the machine, albeit in a virtual machine, it is lovely and fast and really responsive. And I don't think you'd know it was on a virtual machine. It runs that well. So we call up the web browser and do Lee PSP video HDR. There we go. So on that video, we can start playing. We can go full screen. And uh, if we want the audio, so if I go, go to the desktop and just unmute that. I don't know why it's defaulted to mute. There you go. So you can see that's coming through. And uh, even if we up the resolution, I don't know what this is on at the moment. So it's on 720. We can play at 1080. I've got a separate video of this running and uh, it, it is really good. So really impressive, but unfortunately not on iPad or iPhone at the moment. And obviously the iPads have, well now M4, so more powerful than this MacBook. This is an M1 MacBook with only eight gig of RAM. You've got 16 gig of RAM and uh, a much more powerful processor on the new iPad Pros. I have got a separate video showing the iPad running with a Raspberry Pi, if you want Linux running on an iPad. Uh, it's using remote desktop, but it's direct, so it's not needing a Wi-Fi network or anything. And actually it works pretty well, but I really would like to have a proper UTM app on iPad and iPhone. I've got several things I want to try with it. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.